can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, I really uh, like this show. Uh, about to get into a review for Family Law episodes one and two. Um, had the opportunity to go ahead and get um, watch these two episodes, and I can say I really don't like uh, procedurals or law dramas or anything like that. But this does a really good job, I think, um, kind of giving you like that Ally McBeal vibe, like back in the day, like that comedy. Uh, comedy drama vibe. And I feel like it has a really has a really good uh, a good mix, um, and it, it does well. It drew, it drew me in. Um, let's get into what the what the show is about, right? So the show is about a uh, Abigail Bianchi played by Jewel State. You probably remember Jewel from uh, <sighs> uh, was this uh, Serenity Firefly was the name of that <laughs> the show Firefly. Then the movie Serenity. But Jewel State, she she played a character on that show, and now she's back as a forty-something-year-old lawyer who has gone through a lot of trauma in life, and is now um, coming back to kind of bite her in the ass on this on the on the show. Uh, she is dealing with a excessive drinking problem, that, which is leading to the downfall of her family, and she is trying to kind of get her life back together, drinking to the point where. Within the first five minutes of the show, she winds up throwing up on one of her clients and and, you know, becomes a public spectacle on on YouTube and everything going forward. So it just doesn't work out for her. Um, she winds up coming back like three months later to work with her dad, played by Victor Garber. You probably know Victor from, uh, you know, previous uh, CW shows such as, you know, uh, Arrow or The Flash. Uh, she played he played Firestorm on that show. He was also on Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, he's playing Harry Stevenson, her dad, uh, on the show, who she does not have a good relationship with at all, um, and is now trying to um, is now working with her dad and his family law firm, um, and he his goal is to try to make as much money as possible, but giving his daughter a second chance at her career and trying to get her back on a straight path because no law firm wants to touch her right now because of her current reputation. Um, we also have the family dynamic in the show where Harry, uh, Victor Garber's character, has other kids that he he had after leaving uh, Abigail's mom, um, which also work at this law firm with them. So they're all working together, hence the name Family Law. Uh, they're all working together in the show uh, as lawyers and, and psychiatrists um, in the show to, um, you know, with, with the law firm. Uh, I really like the show because, like, it, it really focuses on the character of Abigail and her dealing with her family, as we see through like the first and second episode, and kind of what she's lost due to her drinking. And you know, we find out that you know the husband, you know, stepped out and did what he did, and that was one of the reasons that kind of escalated her her reason for drinking, even though she was already drinking beforehand. But we see kind of like her trying to get back that that life, repair her relationship with her husband, her kids, her teenage daughter. Her younger son and we get a lot of um her trying to make amends for a lot of that situation um also the show also kind of hints at this kind of where it's going where she's trying to i guess kind of have a better relationship with her father and her her brother and sister who she didn't know for god knows how long they never really had a relationship because you know you have that your dad has a whole nother family and he kind of forgets that you know the other family existed then you know we, we have we've dealing with some hostility which is funny because they work in the same the same uh the same field we're working uh in, in law which is you know you hate your dad so much you went and did the exact same thing that, he, that he's doing right um first episode like i said uh gets right back into her getting back into the groove um kind of finding her place back in dealing with going to uh aa um and trying like i said trying to repair the relationship with her kids um, really, really good, solid first episode. Uh, I really thought that uh, usually it takes me three to get into a show. This drew me right in. Um, I'm really liking the characters. I love the family dynamic. Uh, also like the fact that uh, Victor Carver's character, um, his, her brother and sister are black in the show. So that's also like a little spin spin on it right there too, right? Like, uh, you know, you have uh, mul uh, multiracial shows. This show also kind of teeters the line on kind of being offensive in certain scenes. Like they don't really hit certain things but um it's like okay you're dealing with a older lawyer who's trying to catch up with the times and you know he may or may not say certain things that might not be uh pc 
uh, <laughs> uh, but the show does a really good job of showing you the fi family dynamic and um, Abigail's kind of you know faults and what she's trying to do to repair them and what she needs to get back, what she needs to do to get back to to her family and repair that relationship. Um, second episode, of course, deals with um, her kind of getting back into dealing with family law as they deal with a case uh, with uh, special needs uh, parents who are becoming parents and they want to take the, the child away. Um, and she has to kind of take her lawyer hat on, put her lawyer hat on and kind of do her job and make sure that the child is being protected for by the best case possible. Um, this is this is t a special episode because you don't really see a, a, a lot of that, especially you don't want to see a lot of TV shows deal with special needs uh, people and especially not showing or showcasing them having families and what usually the state will do to try to uh, make sure that they are well provided, the child is well provided for. Uh, and I think they hit, hit, they hit a lot of that very well, very respectfully. Um, and they do showcase um, that side of things very seriously that I thought they did a really, really good job on. Um, this was really the episode that just drew me in because I'm like, okay, I, I can really, I'm really catching, really loving the vibe here uh, between the characters and the dynamic of the family as well. Um, I'm really liking uh, Zach Smadu, who plays Danny Stinson, who plays her brother. He's an asshole in the show. He does a really good job of pretty much letting her know that he's better than her. He has to prove that he's better than her. Um, and pretty much he's a suck up to his dad. He wants to prove, you know, be the better lawyer at all times. Now that dad is allowing his older daughter to come back to the firm and hopefully it doesn't bring them back down. So he's trying to make sure that he does everything if possible to put the, the firm in the best light possible. Uh, Janelle Williams, who plays Lucy uh, Stevenson, uh, she's the psychiatrist in the show. She's also she's also gay um, and black. Um, so we get a lot of kind of what she's dealing with as with her character dealing with, you know, being forced to having a, having a child that she's not ready for um, and pretty much also dealing with this dynamic of her sister coming back to the law firm and getting back into the good graces of dad's love um and i feel like this is pretty much what the show is going to deal with like her dealing with her personal issues with her family and also trying to figure out and repair the relationship with her uh estranged family that she has not had any relationship with and her kids don't know her aunt and uncle either which is weird um you know to the point like i said like she hates her dad so much that she came back to the law firm and yet these people have no relationship whatsoever with the kids or family or anything like that you would think they would reach out um but I really dug the show. Um, I think that it's definitely worth continuing to watch. I believe it's supposed to be 10 episodes. It's coming to the CW uh, coming this October. Um, and you guys can watch it uh, <laughs> on October the 2nd. So you watch it as soon as it comes out. Um, check it out on the CW app. Like I said, 100% worth the watch. Um, I definitely will be. I think I will continue to watch this uh, going forward um, as it comes out because like, I really, I really like Joel State for one. I mean, like that's that's one of the things that really sucked me into the show, and I really like the cast. Everybody seems like they they have really good chemistry so far, and it really feels like they um, they're a really good family. Um, but yeah, uh, October second, CW, check it out, Family Law. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below after you watch, after you had a chance to watch it. Thanks.